the vision is given to us by Isha Vasya Parishad. The vision is, look upon the God as abiding in everything and being. Like when we see the top of a, uh, top of a temple from a distance, what comes in our mind? Oh, it's a temple, God is there. So whenever <clears throat> we see anything or anybody, if that kindles, then here is the presence of divine. When that vision is developed, then three things happen. Number one, our <coughs> bhoga pravritti, the attitude of indulgence and enjoyment in the world is reduced. Second thing, we will no more be too much of accumulative nature, collecting the things and increasing the garbage in our life. So, the dispassion is natural consequence of recognition of the divine in and through the total creation. This natural consequence is something like when the fruit matures, it is detached from the tree without any effort. In the same manner, when we look upon this world as the expression of the divine, indulgent attitude disappears. Does it mean it leads to a depression? No, it doesn't mean that a person with dispassion, although he is withdrawn from the world, yet he is dynamically present in the world. Otherwise, no master would have given scriptural knowledge for the posterity. How this has come? If you take all the great masters, like Bhagavan Shankaracharya, now he has written so many things. This world is an illusion. The world is God. So sit down. No. Then the technique given is Kurvanne Veha Karmani Jiji Visheshadagam Sama. Such a wise man established in this vision and experience is dynamically functioning in this world. So his talks are the silence. His activity is meditation and his involvement is dispassion. This contradiction is difficult to cognize for us because we are unable to even imagine <coughs> that is it ever possible. So after having given this, then the teacher also told, there is no other way evam tvai nanyate tosti na karma lippyate nare. There is no other way. So, whatever we are in a given situation, at a given time, be dynamically involved with a freedom to withdraw when it is required. See? Imagine, <coughs> our car is like this. Here we have come on the top of a mountain, if you are going down and uh, you apply brake, but your car is such mashallah that when you apply the brake, the brake gets applied after a delay of 10 minutes. Then what will happen? You don't have to go down, you will go directly up. So. As we can achieve the speed of the car with freedom, we also can stop the car with the freedom. Exactly the same way. A wise man lives in this world dynamically. At the same time, he has total freedom to withdraw without an effort. That effortlessness becomes the insignia of abidance in the truth. <clears throat>